I belong in your arms by Beth Deborah Breedall. Finally, I have found a place into which I fit perfectly, safely and securely, with no doubts, no fears, no sadness, no tears. This place is filled with happiness and laughter, yet it is spacious enough to allow me the freedom to move around, to live my life and be myself. This wonderful place, which I never believed really existed, I have found finally inside your arms, inside your heart, inside your love. for one special person they can share their lives with. The other half who makes them whole. Like two notes blending together to make a beautiful song. Or the colours that complement each other to form a rainbow. It's everyone's wish to have a lifetime of sunny days. A rainbow after every storm. A lifetime of loving and living and growing and giving. Of sharing and caring. A lifetime of days together. Learning from the good times and cherishing the bad times. Well, we have two very special people in front of us today who wish to marry. So that I know I do indeed have the correct couple. Can I please ask you both to identify yourselves by telling me your full name? Lisa Marie Bean. Thank you. Lucy Elizabeth Scott. Thank you. On behalf of Lisa and Lucy, the management and staff and the County Durham Registration Service, I would like to welcome you all to this beautiful setting of the Dove Tree House at the Ramside Hall Hotel. My name is Kath and as Deputy Superintendent Registrar, it is my pleasure to be conducting your ceremony today. Our Registrar is Mike and Mike will ensure that all legal requirements are met and will oversee the signing of the marriage documentation which Lisa, Lucy and their witnesses Mary and Barbara will sign at the end of the ceremony. Marriage brings together not only two people who are in love, but two sets of family and friends who are united in the couple's happiness. We celebrate today the love and commitment that Lisa and Lucy have for each other, and I'm sure that it means a great deal to them both, that you were all here to share in their happiness and to witness their marriage vows. Lisa and Lucy, today your guests will hear you willingly and openly make your vows with a commitment to sharing each other's land, and it's an honour for Mike and I to be part of this very special day in your lives. As we celebrate with Lisa and Lucy today, let us reflect on what marriage means. A marriage is created when two people are willing to accept each other for who they are, and have the desire to share all that they are and all that they have with each other. It means making a commitment to develop cooperation friendship and mutual respect. Marriage means having the courage to be open with each other, the courage to grow and change as two individual people, and the courage to come even closer together when there are challenges to face. Marriage calls for honesty, patience, but not forgetting a sense of humour. It is where each partner cares for the other and supports them in all that they do. A good partner in such a marriage must be loving, caring, but above all, a best friend. For Lisa and Lucy getting married today is a proud confirmation of the love, respect, and true friendship that they have for each other. By uniting together in marriage, they will be there to offer each other support and strength to meet whatever life holds for them. Today, their lives, which began on separate journeys, will be joined as one. And you, as family and friends, may need to help them on their journey. Somebody's very excited. 
information about it. <laughs> now we do have two readings today, and for the first reading I would like to invite forward Jenna to read I Will Be Here. Therefore, if any person present knows of any lawful impediment why Lisa and Lucy should not be joined in matrimony, you should declare it now. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa and Lucy, before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all of this. And with that in mind, I've got a couple of very important questions to ask you both. Lisa, according to the law of this country, do you, Lisa, take Lucy to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And will you love, respect and cherish her to the whole of your lives together? I will. And Lucy, according to the law of this country, do you, Lucy, take Lisa to be your lawful wedded wife? And will you love, respect and cherish her for the whole of your lives together? A marriage is formed by you both making two vows. The first, which is the declaration, is to ensure that there is no just cause to prevent the marriage. And the second, the contract, is the most important to you both and is where you solemnly swear to take each other as partners for life. I am now going to ask each of you in turn to make the first of these two vows by declaring that you do not know of any legal reason why you should not be married to each other, I'm going to ask you both a question, and I would like you both to reply, I am, nice and loud, so we can all hear. Okay. So, Lisa. I am. I'm trying to hear. I'm joking. She's key. <laughs> Are you, Lisa Marie Dean? Free lawfully to marry Lucy Elizabeth Scar. I am. Thank you. <laughs> and Lucy. Are you Lucy Elizabeth Scar? Free lawfully to marry Lisa Marie B. I am. You can relax for a minute now. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> you can relax for a minute now because I'm going to get Stephanie to do your second right. <laughs> I belong in your arms by Beth Deborah Bridall. Finally, I have found a place into which I fit perfectly, safely and securely, with no doubts, no fears, no sadness, no tears. This place is filled with happiness and laughter, yet it is spacious enough to allow me the freedom to move around, to live my life and be myself. This wonderful place, which I never believed really existed, I have found, finally, inside your arms, inside your heart, inside your love. Now, the 
solemn moment has come for these two people to contract their marriage before you all, their witnesses. You have both publicly declared your freedom to marry and your intention to marry each other. I am now going to ask both of you to make the contractual vows that will unite you in marriage. I'd like you both to say the following words to each other, but loud enough so we can all hear. And Lisa, you're going first. Okay. I, Lisa Marie Bean. I, Lisa Marie Bean. Take you, Lucy Elizabeth Scar. Take you, Lucy Elizabeth Scar. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And Lucy. I, Lucy Elizabeth Scar. I, Lucy Elizabeth Scar. Take you, Lisa Marie Bean. Take you, Lisa Marie Bean. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lisa and Lucy have also chosen to make a personal promise to each other. So, who would like to go first? I will. <laughs> from this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to love and cherish you. <laughs> I promise to love and cherish you, protect and care for you, protect and care for you, hold and comfort you, hold and comfort you, and to be your friend always, and to be your friend always. I will share all my hopes and dreams with you. I will share all my hopes and dreams with you, and treasure the time we have together. And treasure the time we have together. Today I give you all that I have to give. Today I give you all that I have to give. A lifetime of love. A lifetime of love. And Lucy, your turn. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. Protect and care for you. Protect and care for you. Hold and comfort you. Hold and comfort you. And to be your friend always. And to be your friend always. I will share all my hopes and dreams with you. I will share all my hopes and dreams with you. And treasure the time we have together. And treasure the time we have together. Today I give you all that I have to give. Today I give you all that I have to give. A lifetime of love. Well, Lisa and Lucy, I'm going to say you can relax for a bit now because as we've done the declaration and the contract and those beautiful personal promises, marriage is a verbal vow in this country, so you're now actually married in the eyes of the law. <laughs> However, a more public expression of marriage is the exchange of wedding rings. A wedding ring is the ancient and traditional way of sealing a marriage contract. It is an unbroken circle which symbolises unending and everlasting love. It is an outward sign of the promises that you make to each other. The wedding ring is placed on the third finger of the left hand because it is traditionally believed that this finger has a direct connection to the heart, which makes it the perfect place for a symbol representing love and commitment. Now Chris, have you still got those rings? <laughs> so Lisa, I would like you to take Lucy's ring there, please. Do you want to just check to the side of it? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And my love for you. And my love for you. I promise you my friendship. I promise you my friendship. My respect. My respect. And my trust forever. And my trust forever. And if you'd like to keep the ring. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> if you'd like to put it halfway on the finger and say these words. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. And my love for you. And my love for you. I promise you my friendship. I promise you my friendship. My respect. My respect. And my trust forever. And my trust forever. And if you'd like to put the ring on. Today you've married your friend. The one you laugh with and cry with. The one you've learned from and shared with. The one chosen to support, encourage, and give yourself to, through all the days given you to share. Today you have married the one you love. Know. Before I move to the closing words of the ceremony, I'd like to read a piece by Wilfred Arna Patson. A good marriage is created. In a marriage, little things are the important things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day, and it is never going to sleep angry. 
It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It's standing together to face the world. It's forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's not only marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. Lisa and Lucy, this day will form a milestone in your life. You look back upon it with love and happiness, the start of a new phase in your life together. We hope that the feelings of love that you have for each other will deepen and grow stronger throughout the years to come. In the presence of your family and friends, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other. Symbolise your marriage by the joining of hands and the giving of rings. I therefore only have one remaining duty to perform. It gives me the greatest of pleasure to pronounce you as married. And would you like to celebrate your marriage with a king? Thank you. Now, if you want to come down to this side and then my.